how to update pixel experience rom without losing your data hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can update the pixel experience rom or the plus edition without having to lose your data as you can see i do have the normal edition of pixel experience running on my poco f1 and the build is from 2025 13 which means 13th of may 2020 now we do have an update available and my device is rooted and it is also decrypted in case your device is neither rooted nor it is decrypted which means your device is encrypted then in that case all you need to do is you'll go into settings go into system advanced system update as you can see there is a system update available make sure you're connected to the internet tap on download and then click on install it is as easy as that now in case your device is rooted the first thing we need to do is we need to disable all the modules as you can see i do have a module installed so either you can disable all these modules or you can boot magisk into core mode so for that you'll go into magisk settings and as you can see here it is you have the option of core only mode it does tell you that we need to reboot our device to apply the settings all you need to do is reboot your device now why are we booting into core mode well we're booting into core mode because in core mode none of the modules are going to be loaded and once we update our pixel experience rom we should not have any issues next thing we need to know is whether our device is encrypted or not so for that we'll go into settings security as you can see for me encryption and credentials is phone not encrypted which means I will have to flash disable force encryption now where do you get this disable force encryption from well this is the file which you use to decrypt your phone initially so you have to use the same file i am going to link the file which i am using for the poco f1 and i will also link the file which i use for the redmi k20 pro in the description of this video for any other device you're on your own and you have to find out or use the file which you use to decrypt your device for the first time so next thing we'll do is we'll go into settings and then we'll go into system advanced system update and as you can see i do have a system update available and this is the block ota this is not the full rom file this is the block ota which is 179 mb all we will do is click on download and then we need to wait for the download to finish and as you can see the file was downloaded successfully next tap on install and there it is you can see that it is giving us a message that if we tap on ok our device is going to reboot and it is going to apply the OTA automatically and then boot back into Android. Well, that is not something which we want because our device is not encrypted. And if the device reboots automatically after installing the OTA update, then that is an issue for us. So why did we tap on install? Well, we tapped on install to find out the path where the file was downloaded. So it was downloaded in data and then system underscore updates. So next thing we're going to do is turn off our device and boot into twerp recovery manually for the Poco F1. Once the device has turned off, you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo. So once we've booted into twerp recovery, we'll go into install. And as you can see right now, we are at the SD card. So we'll tap on up a level and then we'll tap on data and look for the system underscore updates folder. Here it is. And here is the file which we need to flash. So we're going to select the file and then swipe to confirm flash. There it is. You can see that the script succeeded and result was one next thing we need to install disable force encryption why is that because our device was not encrypted or decrypted so first we'll go into mount make sure vendor is mounted tap on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have the disable force encryption in my case it is in the, the sd card folder so i'll go into sd card and bam here it is disable force encryption select the file and then swipe to confirm flash and now because we applied the OTA update, we are going to lose root. At this point, you are free to flash magisk in case you want root. However, I personally suggest that you boot into pixel experience once, make sure everything is working, and then we can always flash magisk. So I'll tap on reboot and then select system. Back into Android, we can unlock our device and go into settings, and then we can go into about phone. And then if I tap on the Android version, you can see that our build has now updated to 2025-25, which means this is the build of Pixel Experience from 25th of May 2020 for the 
POCO F1. We can also open Magisk Manager. As you can see, our device is not rooted. So next thing we're going to do is install Magisk. So we can turn off our device and then boot into Tour Recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time. And then we can go into install and all you need to do is select the Magisk zip file and then swipe to confirm flash. And once Magisk has installed successfully, all you need to do is click on reboot system. Back into Android, we will unlock our device, open Magisk Manager, and bam, there it is. You can see that Magisk is up to date and our device is now rooted. We can also go into settings and then we'll go into security. Here it is, encryption and credentials, phone not encrypted, which means disable force encryption flashing was also successful. And there it is, peeps. That is how you update the Pixel Experience ROM, normal or plus edition on any Android device without any data loss. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.